happy Halloween or whatever day it is that you happen to be watching this. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Ananda, the Galactic Mystic, and today I'm doing a video by request. Let's talk about the so-called evil degrees of 18 and 22 of any sign of the zodiac. This is going to be interesting. Serbian astrologer Nikola Stojanovic, I hope I'm saying that right, he developed a certain type of degree theory in which he determined the 18th and the 22nd degree of each sign of the zodiac to be really bad in some way. Uh, the 18th degree, he put a Virgo energy on it, and this was considered um, to be indicative of health problems or to be evil in some way. And then the 22nd degree, um, he called kind of the kill or be killed degree, like a risk of being a person who harms others or being the recipient of harm. His degree theory was unique. There are other types of degree theory, things such as Sabian symbols, Chandra symbols, and the Dwadasama, which I use a lot. Um, so there are many different kinds of degree theories. And I find them utterly fascinating because it's just, I don't know, I like to get down into the details of things and to study this is really interesting. So I also really like to debunk things. Was I able to debunk the, this one? So we are going to look at a bunch of different charts and I'm gonna share a bunch of different findings with you. We're gonna look at some charts of uh, natural disasters, of some quote unquote evil people and some not so evil people. And we're gonna see how this pans out. So the first thing I did um, when I started this research is I did a Google search on most evil people in history, and I found this top 10 list. And we have the, uh, the ones you would expect to be on here, uh, Saddam Hussein, you know, this one, uh -huh, yeah, Genghis Khan. And so I looked for charts for all of these people. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And not one of them had anything at 18 degrees or at 22 degrees. Now, I will say that for a lot of these charts, we don't have a correct birth time. So there's a lot there, you know, the angles of the chart, the ascendant, descendant, midheaven, Imam Coeli, and the vertex axis cannot be determined. So it is entirely possible that one of those points in all of these charts would be at one of those degrees, but I could not verify that. So when I got to uh, Hitler's chart, uh, I noticed something unique. So there's a type of, I don't know if this would be considered a type of degree theory, but it's, um, it's something I learned from astrologer Annie Ortley and it's, it's called world degrees. And according to Annie, there are certain degrees of each uh, modality of sign. So for instance, the cardinal signs, Aries, Lib uh, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, they have um, the 22nd degree of those signs are considered to be world degrees. And a world degree is something that, um, you know, something occurs on a world degree, it's, it's, you know, known worldwide, it's something that affects everyone. Or if it's found in the natal chart, that it's something that you as an individual is known by. So I'm just going to fess up and, and tell you that I have 22 degrees in my natal chart, my Jupiter is at 22 degrees of Aries. And um, I would will say that People who know me, my social circle, my family, I'm known as a very um, jovial, Jupiter-like type of person. My laugh is really loud. I'm a, my body is large. I'm tall and big. And um, 
big personality. You know, they like to say they can hear me laughing from three blocks away. But Jupiter is also my chart ruler. It's also the apex of one of my yards. And so Jupiter in my chart tends to be a little extra. So is it because it's at 22 degrees that that people that I'm known as a jovial being? Or is it because Jupiter is so activated in my chart? A lot of questions. So when I was looking at Hitler's chart, let's pull it up. So here we have the infamous Adolf Hitler. And so going through here, I'm actually going to take So here we have the chart of Adolf Hitler. And as you can see, well, we do have a birth time for him. And so there's really, there's no 18 or 22, okay? Even with the angles, nothing going on there. But I noticed his Saturn at 13 degrees of Leo. Now, according to the world degree theory, the one I was just talking about, um, Leo being a fixed sign, the world degree of fixed signs is 15 degrees. And I guess, you know, if we are allowed an orb, I do remember um, when I learned this from Annie, she was talking about there being like a one degree orb or two degree orb. So that would put uh, his Saturn within that of a world degree. So I kind of wrote that down. Hitler you know, Leo and Saturn, and it's in his 10th house, which, you know, that's kind of interesting. So, so let's continue and see what else we find. So then I started thinking about world events that really um, killed a lot of people. And I did some research and found out about the uh, Haiti earthquake in 2010. Um, I believe this is either one of either the first or second most deadly earthquake in history. And look here, the, the sun and Venus were both at 22 degrees of Capricorn on this day. And we do have the part of fortune at 18 degrees here. So that's kind of interesting. But now Capricorn is a cardinal sign. So this would also be that world degree. And actually, um, for the world degree theory, it's 22 and a half degrees. So the sun is right there at 22 degrees and 35 minutes. So that's, that's pretty interesting. All right, let's see what else we can find. So I had to look at the Trinity nuclear bomb test that happened in 1945. Um, this is a really, this is one of those pivotal historic moments where the scientists involved realized that maybe they had done something that they should not have done. And a lot of them cried. So what do we have here? Well, we have Jupiter at 22 degrees of Virgo. So that would not be considered a world degree, but would be considered, um, you know, the evil degree, according to Nicola. We have Venus at nine degrees of Gemini. So this would be mutable in the world degree theory, which is at seven and a half degrees. So that would be within two degree orb. And I don't know, I don't really like the, I don't know if I am interested in applying the orb to this. So I'm just kind of pointing this out as we're exploring. So let's see what else we have. Two months after the Trinity nuclear bomb test, uh, there was the first atom bomb uh, in Japan. And here we have Saturn and the moon at 18 degrees of Cancer. And we still have the part of fortune here at 22 degrees of Leo. So that's pretty interesting. Evil degree. Um, 
you know, nuclear, it is believed that nuclear energy is particularly dangerous. Um, in the law of one, um, it is explained by Ra that there are certain universal laws and rules about nuclear energy because nuclear energy, according to the law of one, these books, is the only thing that can actually destroy souls. So that when people are people die in a in a nuclear bomb, um, actually their souls are destroyed. Now I'm not saying I necessarily believe that. I don't really know, but it's an interesting thing to think about that something is it possible that something could be that destructive to life or even that destructive to life that is eternal i don't know it's interesting to think about okay what else did i find so the tangshan earthquake was particularly deadly in 1976 and on this day I noticed that we had Saturn in Leo again, Saturn at six degrees of Leo. So at this point, I'm not really applying the world degree theory or <laughs> Nicholas degree theory. I'm, I just noticed a pattern with Saturn in Leo and wrote it down and thought, hmm, and look at this, a whole bunch of Leo. Interesting. Perhaps you remember all the buildup to the uh, great conjunction in January of 2020. Now this was something that astrologers had been looking at and like kind of chewing their nails about for a while, not knowing what it would mean. There's no way to really know how it's going to manifest, but there was this general understanding that something big was going to happen. And so January 12th, came and went and you can see here we had the sun pluto and saturn and almost mercury all conjunct in capricorn so this is nicola's degree theory and it is in alignment with the world degree theory but the day came and went and nobody you know was kind of like a wah wah until it was discovered that it was on this day, on this exact day, that the, the gene sequence for COVID-19 was given to the WHO by Chinese scientists. Now tell me that's not interesting. So then I started thinking, let's look at some serial killers. <laughs> I find serial killers to be the most terrifying thing on the planet. Give me the supernatural any day. I feel like I can handle that. But when it comes to actual people, serial killers and things like that, that's what scares me. So John Wayne Gacy, he's like, he was the creepy clown guy, the guy who dressed up like a clown and killed uh, a bunch of young men. So that's a scary mofo. So let's see what he's got going on in his chart. Look at this. He's got Chiron at eight degrees of Leo and Pluto at three degrees. Is there something about that first decan of Leo? Hmm. I'm not really seeing those degree theories here. So how about some good old Jeffrey Dahmer? Look, <laughs> Venus at 22 degrees of Taurus. Ooh, North node and South node at 22 degrees. Now, uh, this is interesting to me because I believe there is a large majority of serial killers that are Virgos, Virgo Sun. So it's interesting to me that he has this at 22 degrees of Virgo, this North Node. Very, very interesting. This is kind of creepy. This Mars in Aries in the sixth house. Just knowing what he did, I find that to be particularly creepy. Not that anyone, just anyone with that is creepy. That's not what I mean. <laughs> so Harold Shipman was a serial killer. He was a doctor. And 
he killed something like 300 of his patients. He was a pretty evil dude. So I don't have a birth time on him. His son here uh, is at 23 degrees, but you know what? I wonder if we, if he happened to be born in the wee hours of the morning, let's just see. Oh yeah, look at this. If he just so happened to be born, you know, between midnight and 2 a.m., his sun would be in Capricorn. His Venus would be in Capricorn at 18 degrees, sun at 22 degrees. So that's both. Oh, he was, oh, he was a doctor. So this is interest. I bet this is his birth time because look at how this lines up. Uh, of course, I'm just speculating. I'm totally guessing. I really don't know. But just nerd out with me for a second. This has the evil 22 degrees and the evil 18 degrees in conjunction in Capricorn in the sixth house. He was a doctor. Um, the sixth house is the house of health and service. That's super creepy. And then look over here. So Pluto in Leo on his ascendant, which gives a person access to tremendous power, but that power can be used for good or evil. And then look at this. This puts his son, uh, Saturn and Mars both oh, almost at 22 degrees. This would be, uh, this is in Cancer. This would be, uh, considered in the orb of the world degree theory in his 12th house. So it was hidden. It was a secret. This is, oh, oh, this gives me shivers that this looks particularly evil to me. I'm convinced of all the theories in this moment as I look at Harold Shipman's chart. Of course, I don't know if this is his real birth time, but we're just playing, right? Mm. What about Good old Charles Manson. He's a creepy guy. So he has Venus at 18 degrees of Scorpio, conjunct his son at 19 degrees of Scorpio. That's pretty interesting. But that, that Scorpio Venus, that certainly applies. In his seventh house. So this is, you know, how he relates to people one on one. Ooh, and you know, he had all those, he was able to, you know, he had a cult following. The Sun-Venus conjunction in Scorpio in the seventh house. That's like, you know, Scorpio has the greatest spectrum of experience from the darkest dark to the lightest light. And if someone was going to take this to the basement of, uh, to the dumpster fire of Scorpio energy, this would be one charismatic evil mofo. Mm, mm, mm. Evil, evil. And that's, you know, his midheaven is at 20 degrees of Capricorn. What is it about Capricorn in these 20, 21, 22, 23 degrees? Mm, mm, mm. I will say right here, I know so many people who have um, their ascendant, descendant axis at Capricorn and Cancer of 22 degrees, and they are angelic beings. So in no way am I suggesting that any of this is a blanket over everyone who has these degrees in their chart. Absolutely not. And with that in mind, let's shift a little bit and look at some people who maybe are not considered evil mofos and um, see what's going on in their charts. Nelson Mandela was a South African anti-apartheid activist, and I believe he died of natural causes. Looky here, he has Saturn and Leo at 15 degrees, which would be the world degree theory for that. I really didn't mean for this to be about world degrees, but it's interesting to apply different ones at the same time and see how it comes out. Oh, look, Venus at 22 degrees of Gemini. 
there's a lot going on here around between 20 and 23. North node, south node, ascendant, descendant. Okay. I don't think he was an evil guy. He was a good guy. Of course, people are complicated and flawed. And with that in mind, let's look at Gandhi. Now, look at this. Gandhi has his Mars at 18 degrees of Scorpio. So here we have the evil 18 degrees at Scorpio. Who else had this? Charles Manson has that Mars at 18 degrees of Scorpio. Very interesting, conjunct Venus at 16, okay. Vertex axis at 22 degrees of Cancer. Now, here's the thing. Gandhi beat his wife. People are flawed and complex. Now, Gandhi was um, a, an important pacifist, <laughs> among other things, but he beat his wife. And he was murdered. He was shot. So this is interesting. So this almost fits both things. The kill be kill 22 degrees and the um, you know sort of violence against others 18 degrees and here we have a, or, uh, 18 degrees of Aries for his Neptune Uranus is close his Midheaven and Imam Coeli are close at 25 degrees each oh and his Ascendant Descendant at 25 degrees of course 25 isn't our target it's just interesting to notice these um, spectrums how about Rosa Parks? Look at her. She has her Mars at 18 degrees of Capricorn. Conjunct her ascendant at 19 degrees of Capricorn. Now we know she wasn't evil. She just happened to be a very, very important person in our history. Look at her chart. Look at this. She has sun. Mercury, Uranus, all in Aquarius in her first house. She was born to be a revolutionary. And it just so happened that her Mars at 18 degrees of Capricorn conjunct her ascendant is how she served all of us in this country by being a warrior against authority. Mm, that's badass. Now how about JFK? Mars at 18 degrees of Cancer. Look at that. Now 18 degrees is not supposed to be the kill, the, the being, you know, the violence against, but according to Nicola, it's an evil degree. So he was a victim of evil. He was murdered. So what do you think? Are you convinced that 18 and 22 degrees of every sign of the zodiac is evil or malevolent? I don't think I'm convinced, but how fun is this? How interesting. I think that uh, I would need to look at a lot more charts and do a lot more research on this, but I, there seems to be something to perhaps the world degree theory pretty interesting. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. And um, I'm sure there are a lot of scary individuals <laughs> that I did not look at that have these in their charts. And I imagine a lot of people who are not known to be particularly evil that have it, but maybe they are known for something else. That's my alarm. My husband is home. Happy Halloween. This dog is about to go off barking. Shh. Hold on. Give me a second. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Um, hit me up for a reading. Let's connect. I will see you next week. Oh, for dailies, you can find them. Uh, daily astrology, daily energy, daily tarot on social media and at the Navigational Astrology webpage on my website. I'll put all that in the description box below. Bye guys.